Hello art lovers, this is John McNaughton. Welcome to my painting studio. Today I want to talk with you about some of the secrets of my painting called The Demise of America. So this is The Demise of America, the original. It's about 16 by 24 inches and the painting uh, was done towards the end of Obama's last term and I'm happy to talk about it right now because I'm about to ship this out. Somebody per called me up and purchased the original. So while I have it here, I thought I would you know, talk a little bit about the painting and, and what inspired it. They said that Caesar, Julius Caesar, fiddled while Rome burned, and he blamed it on the Christians. Whether or not that's true, I don't know, but that gave me uh, some inspiration for this painting. You know, I saw a lot of what Obama was doing to the country, and some of the things that he was stoking the flames of discontent among races, blacks versus whites, poor versus rich. I don't understand why a president would do that. And he acted as if uh, that this was business as usual. And I was uh, pretty upset when I painted this picture because I felt like that's exactly what Obama was doing. He was, he was playing the fiddle while, while the United States, our foundation of our country, was being dismantled. He even said at the beginning of his presidency that his purpose was to fundamentally change America. Thank heavens President Donald J. Trump has taken office and reversed much of that. If you look at some of the speeches that Obama has done since he's left office, you can tell he's pretty unsettled and upset even uh, about a lot of what Trump's doing. He's He's, dis he's fundamentally changing Obama's legacy, and I love it. I love him for it. Anyway, uh, in the background you see there's the federal capitol building that's on fire. You have the Washington Monument. You have the, the monument that has the uh, heroes planting the flag at Iwo Jima. You've got uh, the Supreme Court building on fire. So symbolic of what Obama was doing. Now some interesting things about the painting. When I uh, was getting ready to do this image, I had an idea in my mind and I got my model. I have a model that I've used many times for Obama. He has a similar uh, body type and he works really good to morph him into the former president. But what was fun was that this friend of mine had an old fiddle that his great-grandfather used to play uh, when he worked in a saloon down in southern Utah. So he pulls out this old fiddle and I says, okay, I want you to hold the fiddle and let me take some pictures of it so that I can give that authentic feel of a man playing the fiddle. Well, the funny thing about it is that my friend does not know how to hold a violin or a fiddle so he just grabbed it and held it up and I took the picture and when I showed this painting for the first time I had a lot of people who are familiar with the violin saying oh he's not holding it right he's not doing it right and I thought that was perfect because I don't think Obama was doing anything right you notice when I painted the picture of Obama foreign policy where he's golfing a different painting that he wasn't holding his, his doing the golf swing right either. So <laughs> anyway, I thought that was kind of funny, but that's the whole idea. The painting has a lonely, kind of a depressing, dark feel about it, but it represents a time in American history. And that's the idea of doing a picture like this. It's historical in its content. And I want people to remember how many Americans felt to be alive in this time in our country's history. So I hope you've enjoyed some of the secrets that I've shared regarding this painting and I will talk to you soon.